Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, December the 3rd. It's the first week in Advent, and the scripture for this service. Psalm 119, verse 1 to 24, and Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1 to 11. And please join me in singing Come Thou Long Expected Jesus by Charles Wesley to the tune of Stuttgart. Come thou long expected Jesus, born to set thy people free. From our fears and sins release us, let us find our rest in thee. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Blessed are the undefiled, who walk in the way of the Most High. Psalm 119, and please recite it together with me. Blessed are the undefiled, who walk in the way of the Most High. Blessed are they that keep your decrees, and seek you with their whole heart. They do no evil, but walk in your ways. You have laid down your precepts to be followed diligently. Oh, that my steps were firm in the way of your statutes, then I shall not be ashamed when I heed your commandments. <clears throat> I praise you with an upright heart, as I learn your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes, do not forsake me. How shall the young remain sinless? By taking heed of your word. With my whole heart I sought you. O oh, let me not wander from your commands. Your word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Most High, teach me your statutes. With my lips I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced to do your will, as though as if all riches were mine. I will meditate in your precepts, and have respect for your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Be generous with me, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes, that I may behold the wonders of your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul breaks, longing for your judgments. You have rebuked the proud who stray from your commands. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept your decrees. Rulers plot against me, but I meditate in your statutes. Your will is my delight and your laws are my counselors. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Blessed are the undefiled who walk in the way of the Most High. Here's a lesson from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. The word that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in days to come. The mountain of the Most High's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Most High, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Most High from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall arbitrate for many peoples. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Most High. 
for you have forsaken the ways of your people. O house of Jacob, indeed, they are full of diviners from the east, and of soothsayers like the Philistines, and they clasp hands with foreigners. Their land is filled with silver and gold, and there is no end to their treasures. Their land is filled with horses, and there is no end to their chariots. Their land is filled with idols, and they bow down to the work of their hands, to what their own fingers have made. And so people are humbled, and everyone is brought low. Do not forgive them. Enter into the rock and hide in the dust from the terror of the Most High and from the glory of his majesty. The haughty eyes of people shall be brought low, and the pride of everyone shall be humbled, and the Most High alone will be exalted on that day. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please respond, hear us, tender God. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, guide us in your ways, <clears throat> that we may remain unstained by the world. May we never seek you, may we ever seek you, and sing your praises in Jesus' name. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever, and glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.